What is going on guys? Welcome to this Python tutorial series for data science. In today's video we're going to learn how to plot bar charts in Python. So let us get into the code. Now as always the first step is to import matplotlib. So matplotlib.pyplot as plt and then again numpy as np. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to plot some bar charts. And bar charts are basically charts that display data with bars. So uh, for example, what we're going to do today is we're going to define four IT skills, namely Python programming, Java programming, computer networking, and machine learning. And we're going to have four different persons that have these skills. Uh, and some of them have them have uh, pretty high skills. So 100, for example, or 90 or 85. And some of them are pretty low at some skills. So for example, a number like 10 or 20. Uh, and we're going to display these skills in the form of bar charts. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to define tuples for these four skills. So we're going to say Python is one tuple, Java is one tuple, uh, networking is one tuple, and machine learning is one tuple. Now notice that we're not going to use NumPy arrays here because they're not necessary. We can use ordinary Python tuples. So what we're going to do is we're going to say um, the first person is going to be very good at Python. So let's say 85, for example. Uh, the second person, uh, person is going to be, I don't know, decent at Python, 67. Then we have a complete Python noob, 23. And then we have someone who's godlike in Python, 98. Now, uh, let's do the same thing for Java. Let's say we have the first person that is very good at Python is average in Java is decent, uh, the second person is also decent in Java, the third person is very good at Java, and the last person sucks at Java, 14. Then we have networking, let's give it the value 60, 20, 56, 22. And then we have machine learning, so the machine learning god is of course the first and the last person because they know Python very well, so uh, 88, then 23, 10, and let's say 87. Actually 10 is quite low, let's say 40. So these are the skill levels for four different persons. Now what we have to do is we have to define a list of names. So we're going to say people equals, and then we're going to say, okay, the first one is Bob, second one is Anna, third one is John, and the fourth one is Mark. So these are our persons that have these skills. Now what we have to do now is we have to use the plt.bar function to plot these values. And the x value should be the position of, um, of our person. Because of course we only have one value, the skill level, and this will be the y value. So we have the bar chart and we have the y value, which is the skill level, but we have also the position, so Bob, Anna, John, Mark, which is the x value. So what we're going to do is we're going to define an index array, and we're going to say index equals np dot a range 4, which basically just gives us four values. And here what we're going to do is we're going to use the index, this index array as the x value. So we're going to say the first bar is at index and the second uh, and the y value is the Python skill. So when we have this, what we now do is we uh, define the width of this um, of this bar. So the bar can be pretty thin, it can be pretty uh, wide and we're going to provide a label as well for the uh, legend later on. So we're going to say this is the Python skill. Now we're going to do this four times. So the second one is not going to be at the same, uh, the second bar is not going to be at the same uh, x value. So we're going to say plus 0 0.2 because we have a width of 0 0.2. So we're going to shift this bar to the right that much. Then we're going to say 0 0.4 because we're shifting it one more to the right and 0 0.6. So basically we're saying uh, we're plotting four bars for each person and every bar has to be uh, shifted to the right uh, by 0 0.2 because that's how wide one bar is. Uh, and of course what we're going to do is we're going to change the label so we're going to say Java 
we're going to say networking and we're going to say machine learning learning come on learning so these are our four bar charts and we can actually go ahead and show them already i think this should work yeah no of course not because we're always plotting the same value python so we have to change it here networking and machine learning so now it should work and as you can see, it works. We have the different values, but we don't have any labels. We, we don't know what this is. So let's add a title, some labels, and a legend. So the first thing is we're going to say plt.title, title equals or is IT skill levels. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some X labels and some Y labels. So we're going to say plt.x label is the IT skill or actually no actually it should be the person person uh, and plt dot y label equals skill level that's basically it and then we're going to say plt dot x ticks and here we're going to say uh, what our X ticks should be. So we have the different X values and what should they be? What should they be labeled like? Uh, and we're going to say this is just index uh, plus 0 0.2 so that it's centered. And we're going to add the people here. So we're basically saying uh, below a collection of four charts, we're always going to put the name of the person that these charts belong to. Uh, and last but not least, we're going to say plt.legend location upper right, for example. And that's it, but we're going to add one more thing in a second. Let's just look at the result. Uh, so as you can see, it looks perfect, almost perfect. We have the skill level here, we have the person here, uh, and we have the different names with the uh, bars in here and also a legend with the individual skills. Now, one thing that's annoying is that this legend is up here and we have the bars here. So one easy way to fix that is to just say plt.whilelimit while limb uh, is from zero to 120 because then we have more space at the top because 100 is our max value. Actually, this is not enough right here. We could also just go ahead and say upper left but of course this depends on the graph. Uh, but in this case, this would work. But another reason to set the while limit is that, for example, if all my values are below 60, let's just do that real quick. Um, so, or around 60, doesn't matter. But if they are all low, we have a problem uh, because then if I don't set the limit, you're going to see that we get a misleading graph. So right now it looks as if this person has a very high Python skill, even though it's not very high, it's just 67. It looks like it's almost 100 because we don't have the proportions here. Since all of them are pretty low, we think that all of them are pretty high. So what we should do is we should add plt.whilem 0, 120, or at least 100 for the max value. And then you can see that uh, it looks as if it was kind of a kind of bad skill or not uh, not very skilled. So this is how you basically plot bar charts in Python. So that was the tutorial about bar charts in Python. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Ask questions if you want, give feedback if you want, and of course, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. And thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.